Load line mark represents the reference markings up to which you can load certain amount of cargo on a ship as per the geographical location where it is trading. These load lines are 25 millimeters thick. They are painted in white or yellow on a dark background or in black on a light background. The upped edge of each load line indicates its exact level. The deck line is marked on their midships and is 300 millimeters long. Its upper edge marks the top of the freeboard deck. If this line is extended outward, it will cut the outside of the shell plating. The load line, just commonly known as the points, so is marked directly below the deck line. The deck line and the points, so marked, are situated exactly on their midships. The vertical distance from the upper edge of the deck line to the center of the load line disc is called the statutory summer freeboard. The letters on either side of the disc represents the classification society. A vertical line is placed at 540 millimeters forward of the disc with holes underlined measuring 230 millimeters on each side of it. S stands for summer load line. The position of this load line is calculated first and position of others calculated from it. W for winter load line, T for tropical load line, F for freshwater load line, TF for tropical freshwater load line, and WNA for winter North Atlantic load line, only for ships 100 meters in length.